Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Willowbrook, there was a beautiful park named Peggy Sun and Park. It was a place where families gathered, children played, and couples strolled hand in hand. The park was known for its vibrant flowers, towering trees, and a serene pond that reflected the clear blue sky. However, one fateful evening, the tranquility of Peggy Sun and Park was shattered by a chilling incident. A murder had taken place, sending shockwaves through the peaceful community. The victim was a well-respected local businessman named Richard Hawthorne, known for his philanthropy and kind-hearted nature. The news of Richard's murder spread like wildfire, and soon the park was swarming with police officers, detectives, and curious onlookers. The crime scene was meticulously cordoned off, and investigators began and their arduous task of piecing together the puzzle. Detective Emily Anderson, a seasoned investigator with a sharp mind and keen eye for detail, was assigned to the case. She arrived at the park, her mind already racing with questions. Who would want to harm Richard Hawthorne? And why? As Detective Anderson surveyed the crime scene, she noticed a few peculiar details. There were no signs of a struggle, suggesting that Richard may have known his killer. The murder weapon, a small silver dagger, was found near the body, but it bore no fingerprints. It seemed as if the killer had taken great care to leave no trace behind. The detective began her investigation by interviewing Richard's friends, family, and business associates. She discovered that Richard had recently been involved in a heated legal dispute with a rival company. Could this rivalry have escalated to murder? Days turned into the weeks, and Detective Anderson tirelessly pursued every lead. She meticulously combed through phone records, financial statements, and surveillance footage. She even enlisted the help of a forensic expert to analyze the murder weapon for any hidden clues. As the investigation pro progressed, a web of secrets began to unravel. It turned out that Richard had been involved in some shady business dealings, using his philanthropic endeavors as a cover-up. He had made enemies along the way, people who felt betrayed by his deceit. Detective Anderson's intuition led her to a breakthrough when she discovered a hidden compartment in Richard's office. Inside, she found a stack of incriminating documents that exposed his fraudulent activities. It seemed that Richard's murder was not a random act of violence, but a calculated move to silence him. With this newfound evidence, Detective Anderson narrowed down her list of suspects. She meticulously interrogated each one, skillfully extracting the truth from their tangled webs of lies. Finally, she uncovered the identity of the killer, a close associate of Richard's who had been driven to desperation by his deceit. In a dramatic confrontation, Detective Anderson confronted the killer, revealing the evidence that would seal their fate. The killer, cornered and desperate, confessed to the murder, their voice trembling with remorse and regret. As the case came to a close, the town of Willowbrook breathed a collective sigh of relief. Peggy Sun and Park, once again bathed in the warm glow of the sun, slowly returned to its former state of tranquility. Detective Anderson, having solved yet another perplexing mystery, walked away knowing that justice had been served. And so, the murder at Peggy Sonnet and Park became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even in the most idyllic of places, darkness can lurk beneath the surface. But thanks to the unwavering determination of Detective Emily Anderson, the truth prevailed, and the town of Willowbrook could once again find solace in the beauty of their beloved park.